Hey guys, Zero here with a quick unboxing. Uh, today I picked up the new Nintendo 3DS limited edition Pokemon uh, version. Uh, this came out this morning for the 20th anniversary of Pokemon. Uh, red and blue, well technically red and green came out in Japan today. Um, and then uh, we got them in America shortly after as red and blue. So if you haven't seen this system advertised yet, it is the new Nintendo 3DS, the standard size. The only other way this has been released in America is in the Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer bundle. Um, it is, once again, a white version of the system. Black is still not available. It does come pre-installed uh, with the uh, copies of Red and Blue um, on the eShop. Uh, those were just released today as well. Um, and it also comes with two sets of cover plates, um, one for Pokemon Red and one for Pokemon Blue, so Charizard and Blastoise. Um, so let's get inside here. Obviously, it's not going to come with a charger. Once again, like uh, all the new 3DS models, whether it's a standard or an XL. But uh, we'll see what else is in here. It's a slightly bigger box than um, the other ones, even the XL ones, um, just because they have like the extra face plates and stuff in here. Alright, so kind of taking a look at the box real quick. You just got your usual stuff on the back. Um, celebrating 20 years of Pokemon. And we got a little extra piece of cardboard on top here. So the first thing we see is the Blastoise faceplate, which is pretty sweet. Um, Blastoise doesn't take up as much space as Charizard does, so the bottom panel is kind of blank. You just get this blue here. Um, both of them do have the Pikachu 20th Anniversary logo in the bottom corner, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, if you try to line these up, it's not going to match exactly because there's the hinge normally in between on the 3DS. But there's a quick look at the uh, faceplate. It's the original artwork from the cartridges of the original release of the games. Then we have the top panel for Charizard. Looking pretty sweet. Also, the original artwork from Pokemon Red. And then, as with all the other new 3DS systems, they come pre-installed with uh, the bottom faceplate already on there. Just because that one's more of a hassle, you have to use uh, a screwdriver, a special tiny screwdriver, to get those on and off. So they, you know, do a little service for you and put that on there to begin with. So if you do want to swap the faceplates, you are going to need that screwdriver. Um, Sorry, my finger's getting in the way there. So, um, this is the system. You got all your serial information um, here on the under part of the top. It used to be on the bottom of the system. Um, you got your inside here. It's the white model. It's got the Super Famicom colored buttons. Uh, all the new 3DS redesign layout with the home button and the C stick. And the volume has been moved over here the super stable 3D tracking. On the bottom we have our bottom half of our Charizard faceplate again with that 20th anniversary Pikachu logo that I'm not too fond of. Um, and like I said there's the screws there for removing the uh, bottom faceplate which also houses the micro SD card. It does come with a 4 gigabyte micro SD card so um, obviously I use like a 16 or a 32 gigabyte card I believe right now. Uh, yeah 32 gig so I'll be switching that out once I do a system transfer. Um, popping the other faceplate on is pretty simple. There are some tabs that you can see on the uh, system itself. You just line the tabs up on here and then snap it into place and I think that went on all the way yep so that's what it looks like closed and then when you open it all the way flip it over you get your uh, full full artwork there which is pretty sweet don't have my screwdriver with me at the moment so I'm not gonna swap it to the blastoise plate but you can get a pretty good idea of what that would look like um, kind of wish this was the black system, but uh, I think it would just go a little bit better with the with the uh, blue and the red colors. But uh, can't complain too much. Uh, like I said, comes preloaded with Pokemon Red and Blue, not yellow. That you'll have to buy separately for ten dollars on the eShop. But uh, that's what the system looks like. It's one ninety nine. It's not like the Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer bundle where it was like two nineteen, I think. Um, but that's because it does not come 
with a full retail 3DS game. So um, they did not bump up the price at all. So pretty good value there. You're getting two Pokemon games, $20 value for free. And that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you're lucky, you can run out and snag one of these. My store only got three. I was the first person in line here this morning, so I grabbed one. Um, but if you're looking to get one, they may be hard to get. Not sure at this point. Kind of hard to tell. But we'll know probably by the end of the day. Uh, people talking online, whether it was uh, easy to find in stores or not. Whether they sell it at GameStop or Walmart or wherever people are looking. But this one was from Target. Uh, $1.99, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. So until the next video, I will see you guys later.